Hello everybody and welcome back to MYH Plays The Sims. My name is Vivi. I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit strange. I have the flu, but we must carry on with Sims. So, uh, I hope you enjoy the little intro. <laughs> the episode with building Jay a science lab because we've got all this cool equipment and he recently got some more equipment so it's a good time to have a cool place to put it. We're gonna give white walls and white floors because I don't know I think that's what science labs have. Just, uh, you're one of the build bright lights. They're always really bright this is what I've noticed that science labs are really bright because then you can see stuff better I suppose. No alien poster, that's that's what you need, right? We're also going to put in some of the gifts that uh, we've got given for getting promotions. I've got a new easel and some paintings for the wall. Gomi got some hard drives in a pile. <laughs> and uh, this is art lighting for a vet. Uh, Jay got a spaceship lab because he's a scientist. So we're going to put that next to his bed. We're also going to remove our old beds since we have cool ones now. Can't forget to put the rocket back in. I totally forgot that we had all of this stuff in storage. And, uh, well, you know, we might as well use it. And, uh, you know, put the fire alarm in there because we know how uh, susceptible MYH is to fires. <laughs> and look at that ginormous magnifying glass. I know it has another name, but I can't think of it right now. It looks at, like, germs and stuff. This is all the science stuff. I was actually looking for something, but I, I gave up because I couldn't find it. it. It's the inventing thing that you get in the, the science lab where you work, but uh, I don't think you can buy it, or at least I couldn't find it. Uh, the Gomi got a clock for a promotion, and I got a business card holder because uh, I'm like a musician. And uh, if any of you observant people have uh, seen or noticed that Rusky isn't in our house anymore, but don't worry, Rusky is still with us. I just found him his own house with his own babysitter. And look, you can see him playing in his little tunnel. So we're going to go over and look at Rusky's house and also meet. What the hell? Did you see that glitch? Sims. Sims is glitchy. <laughs> So we're gonna go, like I was saying, we're gonna go over to Risky's house and uh, meet his uh, carer and look at his cool setup. So this is her. I can't remember what I named her, but I know I named her surname Husky Lover because, you know, can't trust anyone who's not called Husky Lover. And now we're going to have an intimate moment between Farrah and his dog. Okay. I also tried to get Farrah to play fetch with Rusky, but apparently that ball doesn't count as a ball that you can play fetch with, which is kind of strange. But maybe it's because it's not mine and you can't steal stuff in the game, so... <laughs> Rusky meets his new carer for the first time. Look, look, look. Oh, he likes her. And now we're going to get Farrah to get to know her so you guys can get to know her. I, obviously, I made her so I know her, but you know, for for you guys. So she's a dog lover. Found that out. She also loves the outdoors and she is incredibly caring. Those were her traits, so you know, can't be any better. We're going to light the fire and we're going to let 
Rusky, have fun with this new house and new friend. It'll be a little bit clearer in the next episode why Rusky is living in another house, but uh, that's another time and another story. We're going to get a vet to continue her, her mural. Uh, we're going to do like a quick little time lapse of uh, what that looks like. Sheets. We're also going to help Ambi with her career again and she needs to level up her gaming which is not very hard so I just sent her to do some gaming. Also Gomi needs to get up his programming so those two are going to get to work on that. Jay needs to have another few epiphanies so he's going to start reading a fishing book. We're also going to get Farrah to read a fishing book to get up his fishing skill. And V is going to practice the guitar because she needs that to get a promotion. Yvette's coming on nicely with the mural. I'm not really sure, but it says that Yvette is not creating a painting even though she's doing a, doing a mural, which really doesn't make much sense to me. And Ambi leveled up her video gaming, so that's cool. She has to go check in at the gym, but I don't think I have a gym in this town yet, and I can't be bothered to go get one. <laughs> and she has an epiphany, yay! So we're, I think he has to get eight, and I think we have six now, so only a few more to go. Gonna get Ambi to level up her vampire skill too. See if we can get some uh, plasma fruit. And uh, there we go, checking in again with the vet. Jay's using his giant magnifying glass thing. Damn, it's really gonna bother me. I can't remember what that's called. And you're all gonna be like thinking like, damn V, it's called that. Damn, it's so stupid. You know? When you can't think of something, you can't think of it. <laughs> and we nearly leveled up. And there we go. And now I, I think we can buy the plasma fruit. These are the vampire skills. So a cult student. Eternally welcome, cursed hallucinations, bat form, detect personalities, vampire creation, garlic immunity, command, vampire strength, vampire charm, vampire whatever that one said, irresistible slumber, child of the moon, mesmerize, odorless, sun resistant. That's the one we need, so we have to get to there to be able to get Ambi immune to sunshine. Also, you have to pick a negative one when you take too many skills. I think the worst negative one is where they kind of make hissing noises. That really irritates me. I'm gonna get her to get the next book so she can read that and get leveling. Drink some plasma so she's not so thirsty. And Gomi has finished his programming, so we're gonna get him to do some hacking. He's gonna hack some llama core place because that sounds like a good place to hack. Oh, he got up. Where is he going? Oh, he's going to check in with Farrah. He's like, Farrah, is it okay if I go hack this place? And Farrah's like, yeah, yeah, man, it's cool. <laughs> That's my Farrah and Gobby voice. <laughs> I actually enjoyed watching the screen of what um, Gobby was doing while he was hacking. Because it just reminds me of all those spy movies, you know, with all the green loading things. get it done before he has to go to work. <laughs> and it did 
did it. He managed to hack them for fifty-three dollars, I think it says. Nah, that wasn't really worth it, was it? Now I think we're going to watch TV with Ambi in a bit because I was looking at it just the other day, like uh, scrolling past, but it's actually hilarious the things that they have on their TVs. horror movie ever. Well, they look like they're enjoying it. Some good TV right there. <laughs> Farrah's always drinking coffee. Coffee, it's so unlike real Farrah. <laughs> and now we're gonna get Farrah and Jay to go fishing, because recently that's all the hell they've been doing. <laughs> They could go to the lighthouse, because beach fishing sounds fun. Come, Jay and Farrah, let us go fishing. I think there's a pile of fish sitting over there, I'm not really sure what that is. Go fishing together, oh, bromance. Fishing bromance. <laughs> Jay, Farrah, Jay, Farrah, I think, think you're like the wrong way. The ocean is the other side. Damn. I don't know how, where they're getting the fish from. Oh, Jay gave up. Farrah's like dying, but he's like, nah, I'm gonna keep fishing. Shh, I didn't cheat. Shh. It's okay. <laughs> Look, that cat's like, feed me fish, Farrah, fish. And Farrah's like, no. I didn't even know our house was called Hound's Head. I was like, what? And Gomi got a promotion, yay! Grats, Gomi. And Mrs. Miss or Mrs. Pancake, whatever her name is, seems to have a crush on Jay and is always calling him. Oh, I can schmooze sh celebrities. Schmooze. Schmooze. That's a funny word. Anyway, Yvette and Gummy are like dying and stuff, so we got to take care of them. You see, what did I tell you? When the Sims go to bed when they're really tired, they go to the bed, get out of the bed, pass out, fall asleep, then get up and get back in the bed. That makes sense. Good one, Gummy. Good one. Anyway, he's asleep now. <laughs> Amber needs to drink more plasma. I found out that even if you click like loads of times to drink, 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 drink the plasma, she still only drinks one and then I have to click the next one and do it slowly like that. Oh, I was told to do something about a heckler. And I'm going to challenge them. There we go, her uh, thirst is going up finally. She's going to keep reading her encyclopedia or, or vamp encyclopedia. Sasha's just like, oh, I love this box, but I can't have it. So I figured, because Jay's got like loads of random science-y stuff in his inventory, that we get some shelves in his um, science labs that we can put them on. I think that would look pretty cool. Get some modern-looking shelves. 
put some of those weird things and the synthetic food on the shelf. See, look, that pancakes lady is like, Jay, but please. He's going to stargaze in our new shiny thing. That's a telescope. That much I know. <laughs> There we go, uh, Ambi has discovered a new plant, so I think we can start planting the plasma trees? So yeah, I think we can. Pancake Lady is like, yay, again. So Jay leveled up and I got a promotion, woohoo! Now we can see if Ambi can order this plasma fruit. Yeah, 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 we can. So I'm going to get some pots to start planting in. Going to make them black because, you know, vampire black. <laughs> They're so cool, the plasma fruits. They're so shiny. Yes, Ambi, get your garden on. Now she really is like pumpkin. I'm gonna get her to get a gardening service just in case she like always forgets to water them. So some other random guy can come and take care of her plants and stuff. <laughs> We're gonna get some other cool stuff like wolfbane and um, fly trap thing. <laughs> I'm not really sure what Wolfbane does in this game, but I'm sure some of you guys will let me know in the comments. But I just thought since vampires can buy them, it would be a good idea to get it. Clean out the coffee pot, because it's hardly ever clean, which is really gross. Take care of Gummy a little bit more again. Jay is tired and Ambie is going to tell Sasha to go sleep with Jay so it's not lonely. The vet needs a bath. Damn, Gomi, so uncomfortable and hungry, so I'm going to get you to cook a garden salad because that doesn't involve the stove so you don't set the house on fire again. Anyway, now to look at how charming V is. Oh yeah, that's ladylike. <laughs> charming. She's going to go sing in the shower, because they level up singing in the shower, which I thought was pretty cool. Any day now, me. <laughs> Take your time. And uh, I'm going to get a vet now to paint a mathematical painting because she's focused and they're like specialized paintings that you can only do when you have a certain emotion. Hey, look, the mural's so pretty. There it is, her mathematical painting, a vet looking all like focused and stuff on that. Anyway, this is what the makeup bureau does. It's pretty cool. We should totally like make a vet gothic. I vote in the comments if we should make gothic a vet. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna give her like brown eyes and coral lips, which uh, is pretty natural. Just to see how it works. Look, the tree's growing. It's now a babby tree. Yeah, I meant to move that. Really? <laughs> Gonna get uh, Jay, Farah, and Gummy to do some yoga. Yes, Farah, stretch. Somebody wants to go to the club with Farrah, but Farrah's like, no, I'm doing yoga. <laughs> and 
and we leveled up again. Yay! Now we're gonna get her to make a plasma fruit salad. But if you watch carefully, she puts like onions and stuff, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure vampires can't eat those things. Anyway, it looks super pretty. It looks like got flour in there and everything. But after some long consideration, I figured out that um, it's really annoying when everyone's trying to get food, but somebody stands in front of the fridge. So I think that the Sims are getting stuck on something. So I moved the kitchen around a little bit so they don't get stuck. Anyway, there's the vet's mathematical painting. It's quite pretty, actually. It's quite satisfyingly accurate. She's going to sell it to a collector, make some extra cash. I'm going to play the guitar. And look, the other tree's grown too, and the fly trap and the wolf bane is now ready to be harvested, which is pretty cool. And now Ambi can finally do yoga again, because while I was playing, I accidentally nearly made her do it in the sun, and I was like, nope, 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 nope. can't see me but I'm moving my eyebrows. <laughs> anyway, this is V playing the guitar. Con congratulations, I mean enjoy. admit it's better than us singing. <laughs> it's close to being really good though. Anyway, one of the things Farrah needs to do to get his like life fishing wish is to mount, I think it was like, damn, I can't remember, something like 10 fish or something. Or even 5, I have no idea, I can't remember. <laughs> but we get to mounting fish and then we put them in Ambi's dungeon, maybe? <laughs> Anyway, this is why, I have no idea why I did this, but I was like, hey, why don't we all just jump into the pool and then just watch us all swim around. This made me really laugh because I have no idea why, but it reminds me of like tadpole, tadpoles, tadpoles? Yes, tadpoles. <laughs> like baby frogs. <laughs> also, Gummy is a xenophile. Rats gummy. <laughs> He's really confident because he found out that uh, Jay was actually an alien. Wow, V, Farah, get a room. Or, you know, maybe a. You know, the rocket was going to waste anyway. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue to awkwardly laugh throughout this whole thing. <laughs> anyway, look, the tree grew. Mile High Club. I wonder if that's a thing for like gazillionaires. And look, the spaceship runs on love. <laughs> I got an achievement. I've never got that achievement before. It feels so cool. <laughs> or not cool. Congratulations to V and Far on that. <laughs> Anyway, Ambi has finally got to that stage where we can choose that she's going to be an internet personality instead of like a public speaker. This episode has now been going on for a very long time, so let's end it while we're ahead. Uh, I know it's a cliffhanger, but I will promise to you guys that the next episode is worth waiting for and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So I'll see you later and don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment because I love to hear from you guys. Sorry about my voice again, but uh, I didn't want to leave a gap in the storyline for you guys, so bye bye